I'm Carson and I'm 11 years old. I'm Ava and I'm 10 years old. And, and together, together we're the Bower Book Reviewers. The purpose of our channel is to share our love for reading and writing with everyone. We'd also like to say a huge thank you to people that have viewed our videos, liked our videos, subscribed to our channel and even shared our videos. This week guys, we are not reviewing a book each, we are reviewing one book together and this book has lots of different stories in so it's going to be really interesting and we're reviewing <laughs> The Little, Little Champions, Champions of Justice. Justice We'd like to say a huge thank you to Nason, one of the five authors of this book and he actually sent us the book and asked us to review the book so a, few, a huge thank you to Nason, and also a huge thank you to the other four authors so there's Shirin, there's Elisa, there's Yas and there's Njani and thank you so much sorry if I pronounced any of those wrong and we just want to say your book is doing so well like you you had a set goal for um the amount of buys of your book and the amount of money that you wanted to make and you got way above that goal and i'm there with mum thinking how how is it so good and now i know the secret you guys are awesome writers i'm not surprised your book looks so amazing that i'm not surprised it's got so many sales in addition the illustrator of the book was Alyssa d aces and she has some amazing illustrations as you can see here on the front of the book <laughs> here yeah she's got some really good illustrations so a bit about the book is in this book there are eight stories of kindness courage and generosity inspired by the baha'i faith and the baha'i faith began in the 19th century in iran and it was mostly practiced in africa and asia so the age rating for this book it's quite hard to do the age rating because you guys obviously people have different reading levels some people quite struggle with reading some people like are okay at reading and some people can just sail through a book or, like chew the book up like mum would say but yeah I, the age rating is as long as you can understand it like you wouldn't really read it to babies because babies can't even talk yet let alone understand like books like these these this but yeah as soon as you can understand this book it's good to go and probably the age limit about 12 years old but it still has some awesome teachings in it and i figure that everybody can learn from these people the genre of this book is historical non-fiction as it is real this isn't made up no this is real life things and it's shocking because back then they did such amazing things and it's shocking to think that this is actually what people have done so the eight stories are all men and women who represent kindness and courage and they're all of their generosity and everything and this is the book is actually told from a child's viewpoint all of the eight stories so these stories are set all over the world from america all the way to africa and i'm going to be talking about someone who i think he's an american boy and yeah um his name is ronald mcnair and in those times black people and colored people were treated much differently than Here you go. here's ronald mcnair yeah, there is. This is his name, and this is his picture. And basically, in those times, black children weren't allowed to take books home from the library. So he went to the library, and he really loved space. So he went and he asked the librarian there, "Oh, can I take this book home?" And she said, "No." And he would he just kept insisting and insisting, and he didn't like leave. And it even came down to the police having to come in. And then he, he begged her and everyone was silent and she was kind of put on the spot. So she kind of had to let him have the book. But then people started to realise, hey, that's wrong. Everyone should be allowed to take a book home. And lots of libraries are now named after Ronald McNair because of what he did. He just stood up to the librarian. Oh my and gosh. yeah, and he actually became an astronaut when he was older. And a fun fact is that on his first mission into space, he played the saxophone because he loved it so much. That's so cool. Imagine playing a saxophone in space. I'd love to do that for some random reason. The next person is Richard St. Barb Baker. And he is a very important person. And I think he's actually done quite a lot to our environment. So St. Richard Barb Baker, he was out on his horse and he noticed all of the trees and they were so wonderful. And then one time he went out, of an, uh, out on his horse 
and he didn't see any trees. Well, we did see a bit of trees, but he saw tree stumps. And since then, he was so curious about nature and everything that he actually, to this day, he has his he has, he had his company, I should say, and it's still running. And they planted twenty six billion trees, twenty six billion trees, and that is just amazing. And a fun fact for you guys, he what well, he's a nature activist, by the way. A fun fact for you guys is that he planted his last tree a few days before he died. That's really sad. And another fact, he actually wrote 31 books. I mean, that's awesome. 31 books. My gosh. He is a really important man to our environment, I think. My next person is Mali Toa Tanya Mafili. That's a tongue twister. The second, by the way. And basically, I'm just going to say a quick, brief explanation of the story. So, a little boy and his mother were wondering and they needed to get home. Wait. Is it two boys or one boy? Oh, uh, it's just a boy and that's his mum. Oh. And um, they needed to get home and they couldn't find any taxis anywhere. And they came across his man. And at the time, they didn't know that he was the leader because he just looked like an ordinary man. And he said, oh, I'll give you a ride. And, um, yeah, he took them to their house. And when, when they realised it was him, they bowed down. But the mum was really generous. And they were offering him things, but he said, no, no. And he was really generous and kind to them. And he said that he didn't need anything. And they were bowing down to him and stuff. But he was, like, telling them to get up and stuff. He's just such a kind man. And that's very generous what he did. Because such, like, a ruler would... Normal rulers would be, like, no, you can't ride. Like, yeah, no. like, you know, especially in medieval times. And some kings used to be especially rude. Yeah. Like, they used to execute people just because, like, they're something little. Yeah. But he seems like and a really nice Yeah, guy. it's a really good story, so... And the fun fact about him is, when he was passing, or dying, uh, he was the oldest national leader in the world when he was dying. He was the oldest in the world. Oh so, gosh. yeah. So, my last person is Martin Manga, and this story is called Martin's Generous Heart. And he's actually still alive, Martin Manga. He is still alive and going. And this one is actually close to home for us, because as you can see, it says he was born in Cameroon. And that is actually where our parents were born, and that's actually where our family originates from. And the Baha'i Faith headquarters is in the same town where our parents went for university, and that town's called Boya. So that is actually amazing. Now, this, I'm going to tell you the brief outline, and you can just see this picture here. Martin was Martin Manga, he was only a teenager when he travelled and he left his childhood village all by himself and he travelled five countries I think, I think it was five countries he travelled when he was a teenager like I'm way too lazy to do that, I'm sorry I have to admit it but on his way he had two copper coins and he went to the shop and he and well we, we've been in touch with this before he went to buy something called Gary and we've actually had that before so yeah, we can we can relate. And he could buy six small cups of Gary. And that was almost enough. He got he he'd found a job and everything and his next pay was for a week. So six small cups of Gary was enough to feed was almost enough to feed him for the whole week. And he saw someone who couldn't afford it. And he gave him I think it was two small cups of Gary, which was really generous for him. So he had to sacrifice his meal two of his meals to give it to another person and that's really nice i don't think i would do that i'm way too foody for that but you know you know i need to start doing that now some other people in this book are helen elsie austin to Hyrie, and she was a poet and a woman's right activist magdalene carney and Ilimba Ilimba bertha mckay's sorry if we pronounce this wrong so this book, Little Champions of Ju Justice, is only available in the Kickstarter website. Link will be in the description until the 11th of December. So buy your copies now, people. Come on, buy your copies. And nearly 2,000 of nearly 2,000 copies are sold. So quick, let's just hope you get uh, buy them before they get sold out. Because I'm pretty sure this is such an awesome book, it will probably be sold out soon. But let's hope not because we want more people to buy it. And please buy to give other children like us a chance to know more about their history and these amazing people because we got to know about them. So guys, I think the morals of the stories that we read was be courageous and be generous. 
and um, that applies to most of the stories in here. Uh, courage, generosity and kindness and that's kind of the main morals for this book which I really like and I think it's super nice. Super we really nice wanted to review this book because like in schools or places you don't really get taught about this so we really wanted to this book is amazing for telling you about the things that you wouldn't have known otherwise and it's like it's just really good to know so guys we've come to the end of our review sadly but we really enjoyed it and we hope you enjoyed please guys buy this book on the kickstarter description in the kickstarter description the kickstarter link in the description which will be down below somewhere and stay tuned for our next video it's something really exciting that we really want to tell you guys so make sure you guys like subscribe and, and click that bell so you can get notified every time we do a new video thank you so much for watching guys bye, bye.